All right, man. First order of business. What's up? We got to go over this pyramid of power to Rosen and see if he's even worth it. And because, I mean, we don't know. I'm going to let you know if he's worth it or not to me. And you may be super casual. Your team might not be stacked yet and you might need him. But then again, you might not. So we're going to go over that. We got Rivals Week. We got 70 point Joel. And hey, I'm going to let you know how to get into all this. We got new agendas and we here. So let's get to it. First thing we got going on is Joel. So let's go down here to the My Team Agendas and Season Agendas. He's the newest Season Agenda. Franchise record 70 points. You can go into the theater of your choice. I would suggest going into the challenges and getting it like that. All you gotta do is match his performance. Can I talk or what? All you gotta do is match his performance of 70 points with any player, with the player of your choice, whoever you can get buckets with the easiest, and boom, you got him. You got 20 days to do that too. You also get a finishing, five finishing cards, deluxe finishing badge pack, boom. That's, I mean, it's easy. It's easy as pie. Look, if you can't get 70 points with bro, I don't know what you're doing. I mean, I can tell you what you're doing wrong maybe, but I can't really, you know, I can't help you off of that. You can go into these challenges, this is what I like to do. I'm not gonna lie to you. For shorter challenges, I go in here and I'll maybe post scoring. Once you do five post scores, the game is over. So you can, I mean, we got a 70 point performance to put out. So I'm, you know I mean? We're not gonna have to do no drop steps. Who can I drop 70 points with though? Out of my badges, I mean, out of my picks, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I would say Akeem. I would say Shaq. I know I can get 70 points with Shaq, but I want to go out here with the Diamond Joel. Maybe make a video out of that. But pick your pick your poison. You know what I mean? I'll be dropping buckets with this guy, Mellow. Mellow is a bucket. But you pick who you want to go out there and get them 70 points with. And easy. It's just it's just that easy. Four minute quarters. I don't think you want to do four minute quarters though. I, I would suggest maybe going to domination where the games get a little bit longer. I, I think you can get a five minute game out of this. So yeah, it's your it's your choice though. All right, in the spirit of keeping it short for this Rivals Week joint, what you have to do is, I mean, you can just go straight to my team, take me there. The first budget, first the first button on your homepage for my team and it's in the skill challenges. Now, these 2K24 NBA Rivals Week, you got two games, Knicks versus Nets. For the first game, Knicks versus Nets, you just gotta go in here and defeat the historic Nets by three points. You gotta use one Nick player in your lineup and it's triple threat, 21 points. Easy, right? The second game is gonna get a little more lengthy. It's a little more grind out, 12 minute quarters. You have to score 25 points with a player against the Clippers and you must use three Laker players in your lineup. But your outcome, you're getting a pink diamond player. I don't know which player, maybe we can, you get an unsellable pack. Um, I don't I don't know, you get an unsellable base pack, you get a deluxe sharpshooter pack and you get a pink diamond card. I know that's, I know that's the earn the reward for each game, complete the group for a pink diamond player from Rivals Week. So you're gonna get a pink diamond rival? Easy. I mean, you can make that happen. It's, it's easy as pie. The player market today, we got Jordan Poole. We got eight more hours to go get, bro. And then we got these pyramid of power players we're gonna get into. Um, let's, let's take it slow though. Let's slow walk this. Let's go look at this Joel B card real quick. I wanna show you why you might want this guy on your squad. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Look, we got a 99 offense, 99 defense on bro, center and power forward. For seven footer, do you want that? You need a center that can jump in there seven foot, shooting the ball from the power forward spot. 280, I mean, he's a big dog. So hopefully he has some of those bully badges. Okay, as far as finishing, he can get in there and finish. And he got that back down, bulldozer, dream shake, masher, posterizer, post spin precision dunker rise up and whistle so you can you can get them whistle calls he's not shooting real good from the perimeter 
around the top of the court, but he has both of these hot spots in these corners. He got 18 Hall of Fame badges, 25 gold, three silver, two bronze, 96 overall Joel Embiid. You want to go get him. He's shooting with a 93 point shot, bro. You need that on your team. 97 strength, 98 stamina. You need that on your team. 96 from close, 93 from mid, 97 free throw. You want that big on your team. And look, the rebounding is what got me. That's where I said, oh, yeah, it's it. Offense and defense rebounding at 98, you need that on your team. Go grind for bruh. 70 points is nothing. You can get that. These shooting badges, though, these shooting badges is what made it for me. He gets gold, Claymore, upgradable, gold, gold, can I talk? Gold green machine and gold guard up, upgradable. You got catch and shoot and corner specialist already on Hall of Fame. And then slippery off ball, you can upgrade. So, I mean, it's cooked at that point. You got to just go get bro. Big driver. He got that big driver. He does have purple Hall of Fame brick wall. That's what I'm usually looking for. Purple anchor, immovable enforcer, post down, post lockdown, rebound chaser. Those are the ones I'm looking for. Upgradable gold pogo stick. That is what I'm looking for. Off ball pass, upgradable. Workhorse, upgradable. Pick dodger, upgradable. He don't even need that, but he get it upgradable. Come on. He do, and he has right stick ripper too. I mean, you want to go get bro. You want this card on your team. The only thing I'm looking at is this block rating. This block rating is a 91, but that's high enough. That's that's honestly that's high enough. So I mean, as for as for bro, you you want Joel on your team, and just 70 points. Come on, I mean that's a given. We're going to get him. Hey, say toy boat five times fast. Just say it. All right, but look, check this out. We're going to these premier of the powers. We're gonna we're gonna look at bro what it takes to get bro. We're gonna look at what it takes to get bro real quick. Going here to these lifetime agendas. First thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to get the players that it takes to get bro. Right? Chalmers, you gotta go get Chalmers off the market. You gotta go get Cephalosha off the market. Moody, McDaniels, and Daughtry. With Chalmers, we're looking at five three pointers shooting 60% from three. With Cephalosha, we're looking at getting four steals. With Moody, we're looking at five three pointers and two layups. With McDaniels, we're looking at one double double. Oh no, we. And with Daughtry, we're looking at six rebounds and score four second chance points. That stuff is easy to do because you can do it offline. That is the only reason why it's easy to do. Um, the hardest part about this, this first, this first uh get down, because you have to do this two more times. You got to do three more, well, four more with the with the diamonds. Then you got to do five more with the well, four more with the amethyst and then five more with the diamonds. So, I mean, uh, I can't tell you what those are yet because I haven't cracked it open, but I'm going to bring you those when I crack them open. Now, the hardest part about what we're going to do today with these pyramid of powers is buying these first cards bro 31 31k mt times four we're talking about 157 mt to get all five of these cards if you got that uh if you have it i wouldn't say not to until we i wouldn't say to or not to until we actually take a look at the stats on this card you know what i mean or you can go ahead and spin it the VC form if you have the VC form, but we don't know if it's worth it yet. You can get a 20% discount, bringing it down to 59.8 thousand VC. You know, if you have that, go ahead. If you're gamer, if you're a gamer, go ahead anyway. But I mean, without the discount, that was 74.75 VC thousand VC. So I mean, you're getting that 20% discount, and let's go take a look at the card though to see if it's worth even spending this mtrvc all right so buddy is a 96 overall small forward shooting guard 99 offense 95 defense um i like that 6'6 6'9 wingspan 
Use the Nike shoe. He's from USC. He's 220 pounds. Um, the first thing I'm noticing right here that I don't like is he also only shoots big out the corner. No hot spots around the top crown of the court. We do have 17 halves and 36 golds, one silver, one bronze. The three-point shot is a little bit lower than I expected. The driving dunk is 98. His vertical is 98. His acceleration is a little bit lower than I would like. His ball handling and speed with ball is definitely lower than I would like. Just looking at that, off that, it's a no for me, dog. Like, I wouldn't want to really spend that much VC to grind for bro. If I was a casual. If I was casual and if I just play on the weekends and just trying to build a good team for weekend warrior progress or no money spent type thing, I wouldn't spend my no money spent grind VC or grind MT on bro on the buy-in for bro. I, I mean, it's just something better is going to come along in a few days or a week. What I see from the badges, posterizer, precision, slithery, None of these are upgradable though. Oh yeah, okay, wait, wait. Drop stepper and dream shake. I don't know why. If we look at his mid-range is 98. Okay, I feel it. What is his uh post moves, post fade? 87 post fade. Eh. 90 post moves. Eh. It's looking mid to me, to be honest. He has blinders, dead eye, and midi magician. Green machine is upgradable and guard up is upgradable. Upgradable. Catch and shoot Claymore upgradable corner specialist. He's not going to be anybody you can really hold the ball and move around with like that. He gets no limitless range. That's a no for me. It's a big no. I'm going to go ahead and just say for me, if I'm just common weekend, two hours a day type player, I'm not, I'm not buying in on this. I mean, this looks like filler. This is like more filler. This looks like it is just more. This is a garbage card now that I'm looking at it. Uh, why y'all do him like that 95 offense 90 95 defense 99 offense this is not a 99 offense player they hustling they know how to finesse a buck bro i'm, I'm gonna call it that i'm gonna call it just what i see look i told you everything you need to know to get right and if you want to go in on this for 59 if it's nothing to you just to spend that 59 kvc or that hundred and what did we say 170 something thousand mt I mean, go ahead, big dog, if that's what you with. But I'm, if I'm casual, I'm cool. Straight up, I'm cool. Because it's a lot of grind that you actually have to go through to get to bro. It is a, it is a nice little grind. It's a day, maybe. I can see it in a day. I can do it in a day. But I sit here and make content all day anyway. 13 Ruby wins, nothing. And then it looks like these four would be nothing. And then these five would definitely be nothing, depending on, depending on the ratios of how many, what you call it, you gotta get and whatnots you have to bust down. I mean, it's a no for me though. The Rosen is gonna be outdated, maybe in a week, maybe in a few days. Who knows? But uh, if you want it, go get it. Me, I'm good. You be cool. Got it. I'm out of here. Maybe you should get out of here too. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.